today I have a super special video for you guys. So today, if you can already tell, I am all glammed out and today's video is going to be a mock 2017 prom get ready with me. If you're subscribed, which if you're not, you should definitely hit that subscribe button down below. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for half of the weeks at 7 p.m. Eastern and it is a super fun time around here. But if you're subscribed, you would know that I am currently a senior in high school, so I am a attending my senior prom and I will be doing another prom get ready with me an actual prom get ready with me so this one is a mock one and I'm wearing a completely different dress and different look for my actual prom but today I created this look right here it's kind of like a half cut crease with like a little bit of a glitter divider and I was actually inspired for this eye makeup by Shani Grimmins here on YouTube she's an Australian youtuber she's absolutely stunning and gorgeous I actually met her at the two a sweet peach party and she is the sweetest and the most exciting part about this video is that I'm going to be giving away five $500 dresses. Now please only enter if you are attending prom this year. I really wanted to give back to those girls who want to get a pop-in prom dress. Now I got my dress from NewYorkDress.com. They have so many styles, so many brands, but the brand of my dress is Elise Paris and that is the brand that you get to pick your dress from. So all the rules will be down below and also the end date. This is ending fairly quickly. Usually I let my giveaways run for a while but considering it's prom season and we got to get going on those dresses I'm ending this fairly quickly so be sure to enter as soon as you see this video the specific details will be down below but you have to click the link to actually enter that will make sure that you are in and ready to be picked you can actually get this dress and twin with me how cool would that be also I do want to thank New York dress for also sponsoring this video and of course the giveaway you guys should thank them to because without them I wouldn't be able to give this amazing opportunity to you guys and you guys know I'm always searching for amazing things to give back to you I love you all so much and I'm sorry for this long intro I hope you are excited to see how I achieve this look if you want to see more prom videos let me know down below more prom makeup looks certain things just leave a comment and I got you but without further ado let's get started So starting off with my Mario Badescu rose water spray, I'm just spritzing that all over my face to refresh it. And now here I filled in my eyebrows with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Gimme Brow. And now I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and putting this all over my lids and blending that out with a beauty blender and setting with Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder just to create a nice smooth base for the shadows. Now today I'm going to be using two different eyeshadow palettes, the Tartlet and the Tartlet in Bloom, and these are my favorite palettes. I love them so much, especially the Tartlet in Bloom. I feel like they are perfect for prom for some reason. I always, when I think like a prom look, I always gravitate towards them. I think they are perfect. So I'm first going to be going into the Tartlet in Bloom palette, and I'm using the color Smarty Pants as my trans transition color and I'm slowly working and building this up to get a nice blend going and this is going to be the main color and I'm just still continuing to buff that out because I want that to be really warm and built up and you could always switch this out for a cooler tone brown if your dress is more on like the cool side if you have a cool colored dress like blue or anything like that but since my dress has a lot of gold and warmth and tan I decided to go for a warm brown and then in the Tartlet palette I am taking the color dreamer and i'm starting to buff that on my outer lid and really deepen that up and also i did multitasker as well but now i'm going to be cutting the crease with my tart shape tape and this takes a lot of patience and precision and i'm just doing a half cut crease and then i'm going back in with those darker browns to blend them into the concealer and this does not have to be perfect at all as you can see and now i'm putting my Too faced glitter glue 
in the middle in between that line and popping on some gold and silver glitter from bulkglitters.com or I'll have the new link for the new website down below but I'm just packing that glitter on and now moving on to the face I'm using my Smashbox hydrating primer and my Benefit Professional primer on any areas with some texture so my nose has been getting a little bit of bumps lately so I just wanted to fill that in and now I'm taking my foundation this is my LA girl foundation you guys know I've been loving this stuff lately and for prom you want to make sure that you use a foundation that you know and you love that is key for sure and now I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and here I am I did this in my last video too. Lately, I've been kind of messing up with my eyeshadow shape and everything, so I've been kind of cleaning it up, but here, as you can see, the Tarte Shape Tape is a very pigmented concealer, so right now it looks a little crazy, but don't worry. I'm just starting to bake with my Laura Mercier powder and also Horror Story. My junior prom um, in my Get Ready With Me, I used a different translucent powder when I didn't discover Laura Mercier, and I had flashback on my junior prom and it was terrible all flash pictures too so I have very few pictures that I was able to salvage but yeah so make sure Laura Mercier or one that you know doesn't have flashback so here I am blending trying to fix the shape as you could see my right eye the eye that is on your left right now didn't get blended very well when I tried cleaning it up. I, I don't even know what I was trying to do, but I just smoked out my lower lash line and connected it, and I decided to put glitter on the middle of my lower lash line because I really thought it tied the look together and made it pop. Now I'm lining my tight line and also doing a thin line, and I decided to go with my Makeup Shack Lashes and Crowd Pleaser. I really love these. They are so, so stunning. Now to bronze and contour. I'm using my TARDIS contour kit and here I am as you can see trying again to fix my eyeshadow shape I am kind of baking under my eyeshadow and I find this really helps to help with the shape and everything so I've been doing that lately whenever I'm struggling with the shape of my eyeshadow getting it symmetrical and perfect and blended so I am now going with my benefit watts up and I definitely recommend this if you want to glow cream highlight under your powder highlight and I'm blending this out very well and today I tried I tried the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight for the first time and I am so, so satisfied. It has quickly become one of my favorites. I already know I'm going to be gravitating towards this so much more and I'm putting this in my inner corners as well. And I'm using my Baby Love Blush by Too Faced and just connecting that in between my highlight and my contour just to seamlessly blend everything. And then I'm going to be dusting away that bake and getting ready to spray my face and drown my face. You guys know if you don't want to look cakey at prom, if you want to glow, this step you cannot miss. So definitely be sure to go back in with your highlight. And then I went in with Candy K liquid lipstick and I went in with the ColourPop Hello Kitty gold glittery gloss and transform into my dress. I just put my dress on obviously and now I'm putting highlight on my collarbones, my elbows, and a little bit on my breasts because I think this is key. Especially when taking pictures or if you have an open leg dress or a short dress definitely highlight your legs it'll look amazing now for quick curls i literally have done this for so long and i just wanted to show you guys a quick alternative putting your hair in a ponytail and curling every piece that's in the ponytail and taking it down will get you really effortless nice curls like this obviously this is just a super quick option i didn't want to do anything crazy i just wanted to show you guys something simple a little quick tip or trick if you wanted to do something to your hair on your own and now let's move on to the dress clips Take me underwater.
you guys enjoyed. I am so in love with this dress and this look. I really love the eyes. These would actually be like my go-to glam for going out. Like, I really like them. You could always add some winged liner. You can make it less glam. You could tone down the face makeup. You could do whatever makes you feel comfortable and whatever suits you. Also, you could do whatever hair you want. I just wanted to show you a quick way to curl your hair. If you don't really know how to curl your hair that great and you want to do your hair on your own, I actually did a get ready with me for my junior prom last year and I did my own hair in this updo if you want to see that. But yeah, I hope you guys love this video as much as I love you. Also, be sure, remember, enter that giveaway. It's an amazing opportunity. I mean, come on. Please, please, please don't enter if you're not going to prom this year because I really want to make sure that someone gets it and can put it to good use this year. Trust me, I'll be trying to find way more opportunities to do stuff like this in the future for future proms. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!